Good morning, people watching. I'm 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day, according to Scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone. Not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. I'm coming on early before Barry does his live feed. It is grace, something we didn't earn, and something we don't deserve that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever, here's the key word, believe in him will not perish, but have eternal life. <clears throat> Once you accept Christ as Savior, you come to him admitting you're a sinner in need of a Savior. Once you put your faith and trust in Christ, you're saved. Simple as that. The Holy Spirit in Ephesians 4.30 will seal you until the day of redemption, which means you cannot lose your salvation. Now, people want to argue about that. Someone came against one of the comments, uh, made a comment in a video I did yesterday saying that that is not true. Yes, it is true. Once saved, always saved. And matter of fact, I'm going to go a step further. If you don't believe, if you believe that you can lose your salvation, you're not saved. And that's simple. You cannot lose that what you did not earn. It's a gift. Grace is a gift. So if you feel that you, oh yeah, you can walk away from this, then you're not saved. Once saved, always saved is the gospel. Matter of fact, in the book of Galatians, Paul came against the Galatian church telling them, who has bewitched you and preached another gospel to you? Let them be accursed. He said it twice. He was eminent about it. Folks, this gospel is the gospel, and it is the true gospel. You can't come to Christ no other way except by believing. We walk by faith. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. And if you are one of those who believe that once saved, always saved is a false gospel, that you can lose your salvation, then you're not saved. Period. I'm taking it one step further than Barry. Because that gospel is the gospel. The Holy Spirit will seal you until the day of redemption. Ephesians 4.30 should be a mic drop moment for a lot of people. Sealed. What part of seal don't people understand? You are sealed. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you. He's your best friend, and he will change you. You cannot mix salvation with discipleship. You can't mix works and grace. It doesn't go. Period. I woke up this morning, and I, I'm like, I got to do this. If you have any questions, my email is right there. Because I know a lot of people write me daily, and I don't mind that. I really don't. I, I appreciate it. And ask me questions about, well, what if I do this? What if I do this? You're fine. As long as you're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone. I got to give you this article. <clears throat> Listen to this. This is off of Reuters. Send fighter jets to the Baltics to defend their airspace. Estonia tells the U.S. Now, this one had never happened with Trump. Estonia has asked the United States to send fighter jets to the Baltic states to defend their skies amid worries that Russia could be posed for an attack on Ukraine that would lead to a confrontation with the Baltic region. The country's defense, uh, defense, defense, not defense, defense minister said yesterday, there's a possibility that if Ukraine falls down, the Baltic states would be next. Estonian uh, minister told Reuters in an interview after meeting with U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, again, another, mm, I, I can't stand that man. He is, not a de, he is not a defense secretary. In the Lithuanian capital, the three Baltic states of Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia were once ruled from Moscow, but now are part of NATO and the European Union. They do not operate 
uh, their own fighter aircraft. I didn't know this until I read this. NATO allies have kept several uh, jets in the region on rotating air poli uh, policing missions since 2004. They are patrolling airspace but have no right to attack on, uh, or protect, the minister said, referring to the mission. But we have to talk about air defense. That means that in our area, more fighters, he added, we need. We need to fill our lack of capabilities. Austin vowed Washington would stand with its Baltic allies, but declined to be drawn on whether he would answer their calls for additional troops. This is interesting. I'm going to link this in the description box. I will be back later because there, and there's some stuff on my blog too, but I will be back later with another, um, video. Again, if you have any questions about once saved, always saved, or, you know, losing your salvation, let me know. I'll even, I'll answer your, I'll answer them. <laughs> so thank you.